Well, I have to say I'm very pleased to be in uh, in the next round. There were stages in that game that I felt Louisville was starting to get a little bit more of a grip of it. Not loads and loads of chances either way, but I think we saw almost exactly what we might have expected. Uh, a top USL side, probably the best USL side um, at home, playing with a lot of passion uh, against what we could class as a local rival with some history here, of course, from the USL days. Um, their performance was terrific. Our performance at certain times probably left a lot to be desired, but I will say, in the end, there was a lot of character and belief. And if you if you think about the way the Atlanta game ended up, you know we discussed at the start of, of this um, fixture. You know, the efforts that were put into that game and the way that the guys had gone about their business, if we if we truly felt as though there was there was anything to be achieved in this competition, then you know, we really had to show some some inner belief and, and some character when it, it was gonna be needed. And it certainly was tonight. Uh, difficult to go behind and to come back and win the game in the fashion that we did late on was uh, very, very pleasing. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Matt is going to give uh, permission to those who are, or, or give access to those who are uh, in Louisville uh, with us, and then uh, we'll, con we'll continue with Tim Sullivan on the on the Zoom. Uh, Matt, go ahead. Awesome. We'll, in... we'll start with Gentry Essis, then go to Ben Wright, then Claudio. Uh, Gary, when you when you have to face a, a USL team in their own building, and you obviously know what it's going to mean to them to play a major league soccer team. How, Difficult was it to come up with a lineup that you felt matched the occasion, and did you did you plan all along to, to do what you did with the subs, seventy and seventy fifth minute? Yeah, it, it was very challenging. I have to say, um, you know, the the Atlanta game, and I, I think um, Claudio asked a question at the weekend about the group and what it might look like. I, I don't want to take this lightly. I certainly didn't take Louisville lightly. If you look at the group that went out there, um, you know, still lots of experience. I think only probably Daniel Lovett slightly out of position. Other than that, you know, six genuine starters in the group. Um, obviously, Aki and, and what he represents in our group. Um, I thought it was a very competitive team that I put on the field. And that was because I've got a lot of respect for what this group's about. We had some incredibly challenging games against them in the USL. And I knew that there would be a lot of pride and a lot of passion that was shown out of the Louisville group. Um, they have a core of players that are still in and around this organisation from those days that we played against them. And they have a manager in Danny Cruz who's, I think, coming on in leaps and bounds. It's very early in his coaching career. But if you look at what they're achieving in the league, and if you look at how they're playing, they've got a very definitive style, they've got a good philosophy, they're, you know, they're very much about the ball, they're very confident, they've got great balance to the group. And if you look at some of the youngsters that they're bringing through as well, this was always gonna be an incredibly tough game. That proverbial banana skin that you run into, in fact, I couldn't think of a bigger banana skin than this one because of the quality of this group. Um, and I, I have to say that, you know, the surface probably played into uh, a more lively game. It's a big field. It's a great stadium. First time I've been here. Um, but, you know, there's no doubt with maybe some of the events that they've had on the field, it, it made life just a little bit more challenging. And I think the guys needed to grow in confidence, not only on the field, but the way that it was going to play and, and what it was going to represent for the game. And there were times where I think it caught a couple of people off guard a little bit. But the most important thing for us is that we're in the next round. You know, the, you can play good football tonight, you can be the best team tonight, and you can not go through. And, and it's irrelevant then. Um, cup competition is all about progressing. And, you know, it's a, it's a very nice feeling, of course, always, that we wait on Orlando and Miami to see who we play.
Go ahead, Ben. Yeah, Gary, I believe it was a minute 24 seconds from when they scored to when you guys equalized. Um, what did you make of that response? And then seeing Ani score in the 89th minute, just with the schedule and the what the <laughs> township of relief was it yeah. not have to go into extra time? Yeah, um, look, I was disappointed, of course, about the goal. But I have to say, it was in a spell of time where they looked like they were just starting to get a bit more of a grip of the game. Um, they started to grow in confidence. They had a couple of little moments that looked like they, uh, you know, they may have taken a little bit more advantage of. And, and then the goal comes along. The response was terrific. I think Danny will be disappointed. They held a very high line immediately after the, um, the goal was scored. And, you know, we've still got to take advantage of it. But it was one of few opportunities that we got in behind them um, and, and chose the right pass and were able to, to obviously execute in the right fashion. But I will say, you know, instrumental in the result that you get back on track that quickly. Otherwise, um, you know, they would have probably felt very good about themselves going into the break, a goal to the good. The fact that we actually got ourselves back to level terms meant an awful lot to us as well. Right, Claudia. Gary, uh, you, you mentioned that, that the team at, the, at some points in the game looked, you know, not as not as, not as the way you would like it. Mm. How much of that has to be with the fact that some of the players that come in uh, sub or being sub most yeah. times want to feel your eye, and then they tend to make more mistakes because of that? Of course, uh, th th there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, a couple of changes, as I've said, Daniel playing right side centre back and um, the front three in general who have all already achieved something for us in in, in different levels of play um, are, a, are a massive piece of the puzzle. If that connection's off, then it, 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 can, it can mean that the ball's constantly coming back. Um, you're not as creative as you want to be. There were times in the first half where you know, Aki and Ethan were either side of the field. There was no, there was no togetherness and understanding, um, and that can also be, to your point, in in trying to make an impression, and and you know really, um, you know, put themselves in a position where, you know, down the line they can be looked at as as players to come in and make a difference for us. So everyone's trying to impress. I get that. Um, there were just some. There were some difficult moments, and it has to be said, uh, the difficult moments were compounded by a good Louisville team, a very well organised Louisville team, and a good footballing Louisville team. And just to finish off on Ben's point, because I didn't answer the last bit of his question, but it plays into what we were talking about. When CJ and Hanny came into the game, there was a different feel to it. It gives everyone a bit of a lift, um, of course some energy, that, that is injected into the game. I'm looking at the clock and knowing we've got a game at the weekend, of course, having played 120 minutes against Atlanta, the, the goal scored in the final minute was, was a real relief. Um, but we had just started to show, you know, some more aggressive tendencies and, and we got ourselves higher up the field. And I think, I think t to a large degree as well, the Louisville group had put a tremendous amount into the game and there were one or two guys in that group that, that were probably, you know, athletically um, not struggling, but they certainly weren't at, at the sharpest um, point in their game. Maybe what we were seeing in the, in the early exchanges in the first hour. So we were able to take advantage of that, bringing them into the game, Hanny and CJ late on, was always going to be uh, a possibility. My hope was we could get the job done before that. But the fact that they've been able to come in and make a difference and we've not gone to extra time is obviously a big help. We'll swing back around and go back to Gentry here. Yeah. Yeah, Gary, you mentioned the stadium. And just how impressive was this goal? Was it a place that built their own soccer specific stadium yeah. and not in MLS? And just you know, what it says about the game in North America. Absolutely fantastic. I've not been here. I've been looking forward to come here. I've seen a lot of, of their games. I still, you know, uh, almost, uh, you know, there's, there's a piece of me that still looks at the USL an awful lot. You know, a lot of teams that we had some tough, tough encounters against. These were the toughest. No doubt about it. Um, their, um, 
the way that this club has grown. Um, they couldn't have been any better in the league when James O'Connor was in charge here. The, you know, they were uh, the standard bearer for USL. The fact that they've not only been able to um, develop as an organisation, they've been able to build this fantastic stadium, they're bringing young players through. Um, you know, there really is, uh, uh, it looks like a good strength to the club and to the community and the game in this region. Um, you know, it's it's always a challenge playing against this group. You know, it was then, um, it is now, and, and I'm sure that will continue. And I think that really is testimony, certainly to the people that I know that are in and around the club. They're, they're real competitors. James was, I know he's connected to the club now. Um, Danny was a, the biggest competitor in MLS when he was a player. And, and you can see some of those qualities out of his players. Um, and, and obviously the organisation have taken advantage of the strength that they have in this community and the support that they had at Slugger Field. Um, as I said, the only disappointment was the field. And I, and I know it's, it's been in great shape because I've been watching games. So I was a little bit taken by surprise when I got here. But it, it is what it is. You know, if you're going to do well, if it's in a cup competition or the league, You've got to be able to adapt. You've got to be able to compete when asked. And you've got to be able to show those finer details of quality when they come along. And, and tonight, we, we were able to do that. Thank you, Coach. We'll go to Christina on the Zoom. We'll begin with uh, Team Sullivan, but before we, uh, we head there, a reminder for everybody, if you have questions for Coach, just raise your hand so we can, we can invite you over uh, to ask your question. Go ahead. Hey, Gary, you've mentioned a bunch of guys who, who stepped up in roles that are maybe not uh, the ones that they're used to. I think the, probably the most interesting one is Elliot. What went into the decision to bring him back to this game? And obviously the first minutes played for anybody uh, between the pipes. Other yeah. Than Joe the club, how did you yeah, of course. Um, you know, I've probably, um, you know, not, not, not done him uh, a true justice by not mentioning him before now. Um, I felt Joe, you know, needed a bit of um, mental space to, to gather himself. Um, he's been, as, as we all know, absolutely magnificent for us. Um, I still wouldn't want anyone else as uh, our number one goalkeeper. But I felt tonight it was probably a good time to, uh, you know, give him a moment just to recover, not have to keep game after game. Um, yes, there was a mistake at the weekend, and yes, there was a mistake uh, against um, Montreal, but do they play into it? Maybe a small amount, but I think what it does is it just says, look, you know, I've played every minute of every game since the club's um, inauguration, and he probably needed this moment, you know, and Elliot's been out on loan. It was, it was part of a plan to get him some football. We have high hopes for, for what he's going to achieve for the club. Um, I felt as though someone match fit, who's seen some action, was going to be um, the better bet. That's, that's tough on Brian Meredith, um, but I had to make a choice. And Elliot will, of course, know this stadium. He's been, he's been navigating this league for the last year or 18 months. So it seemed the most natural move to make. But what I will say is, it's given Elliot a wonderful opportunity. He's, he's been extremely reliable tonight. Um, you know, not for one minute do I believe Brian Meredith is, is out of the equation, like Brian an awful lot. What it means is we've, we've got some competition. And every, every position needs competition. So, uh, delighted for Elliot. Um, first game for us, first win. Um, the only thing he's obviously missing was a clean sheet, but, you know, I'm sure that will come in the future. Tim, go ahead with your follow-up. This is the last one for me too, Chris, so thank you. Um, yeah, Gary, it seemed like, especially early when, when Ethan and Ake were out there, you guys really wanted to go over the top of them a little bit. Um, and then, 
once you guys, I guess, settled in a little bit, you had a little bit more connection through the midfield. How did you feel the game evolved over the course of, of maybe kind of changing up what you guys were going for as your main tactic? Well, look, I, I, I genuinely felt that we could we could maybe hurt them uh, in, in down the side of, of their centre backs. Uh, you know, I'm not looking for route one back to front. I'm looking for you know some cultured connection that's going to draw full backs out, and and for us to really um, secure the ball in a in a um, you know in a, in a quality fashion where we can choose to go to goal or we can choose to manage and build pressure. It didn't quite work out that way. There were one or two moments that I don't think we took full advantage of. But to your point, as the game started to slow down a little bit, there were more and more areas that, that we could start to look at through the midfield. Um, I, I still think there's more to come out of those guys up top. And I, I want to be... I want to be thoughtful about the fact that they're not getting loads of minutes. It is difficult to a question in here. Um, you know, they are trying to impress and there's nothing wrong with, with the, the genuine nature of their play. But they need, they need more action and, and that action will probably help them, um, you know, with their decision making and, and of course their execution when it comes along. But... You know, no problem with with the way they they went about their business in terms of output, but maybe the lack of understanding against the well drilled group um, left us a little bit short at times going forward. Hey, coach, one, one more question before we let you go. We'll use this opportunity to preview Colorado. Uh, how did you transition into that game now? Well, I mean, as you can tell. Um, some of the decisions on the group uh, were, were, were with the weekend in mind. Um, you know, I'm, I'm obviously delighted that we've, we've been able to, to take this game and keep our confidence and, uh, and uh, you know, cup run intact. That can only be good for the group. And, you know, it's a quick turnaround again. We play Saturday. Um, I think we're in a better place than we were when we went to Houston. There were some challenges with that game in a very similar situation. Um, I think I think this this um, the the whole picture of this setup was different. Um, what we needed, how we were going to go about our business, um, maybe one or two little lessons learned, and uh, certainly players that that were that were ready for this more so than they possibly were. Um, in the Atlanta game, which is great news as well. So, you know, we go to Colorado in good shape, in good health, and uh, you know, looking forward to a, a real challenge and somewhere I've not been for, um, well, 11 or 12 years.